What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to do the final review of the Microtech SOCOM Bravo. When these become available, they will be available on Microtech's website. So, no more confusion about how you can buy these. It's been confusing. It's really confusing. <laughs> the way they were doing it by emailing them and then them calling you and everything else when they're available. But now, it, confusion's over. They are up on the website when they are available, they will, you'll be able to purchase them just like any other product. They also have a lot of merch up there too in case you guys are interested. I know there's a lot of people who are not interested right now. There's been a lot of backlash with this knife, but hey, uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been hard to put down. I have other knives I gotta, co I gotta carry and it's been really enjoyable to carry. It's a, Beautiful knife. The action is just absolutely beautiful, but not everyone likes it. Again, you'd make your judgment with your own money, so that's just how it is. And either you like it or you don't. They're just trying to make something a little more affordable to get a little more people into their knives, and you get a really good version of a custom knife at a very kind of mid techy price. So anyway, let's get a little top down. Okay guys, now, like I said, I've thoroughly enjoyed carrying this knife. It's really, hasn't really changed very much since I bought it. Maybe slightly smoother, but otherwise, you know, maybe a little more drop shutty. But other than that, just absolutely beautiful. It's been a really enjoyable knife. It just feels really good in the hands. It's, Especially if you have big hands. If you have big hands, this knife is going to just feel so at home for you. Compared to the SOCOM Elite, this new carry is so much better. Because you have the heavy part of the knife down in your pocket. The clip works very nice. And it just, even though it leaves a fair amount hanging out of your pocket, it's so much smaller than the other way with because it would hang, like that much would hang out of the SOCOM Elite. So, big, big improvement. So, let's do a quick comparison. This is not a small knife at all. So, let's break out a big knife to go along next to it. And we got the Recon 1 by Cold Steel. As you can tell, not a small knife at all. So, you can see, it is a 9-inch knife. Which, you know, the Recon one is a little bit more. So, let's break out another comparison. And that's the Spydeco PM2, which is not exactly super small either. Again, angle of the camera doesn't do it any justice. But you can just kind of see the roundabout way of what we're talking about as far as size. Is there's a Griptilian by Benchmade. So as you can see, not necessarily a small knife in blade height and overall length. But other than that, very, very nice. Not much has changed as far as blade lockup is still pretty much exactly the same. No detent lash. No side to side or up and down. Everything is absolutely, totally secured and just really just a very nicely made knife by Reich which Reich's upper echelon knives are very well made so there's it's understandable and they can go for quite a bit more money with this kind of quality they usually Reich's knives can go for about six hundred dollars through retailers which may be why somewhat why Microtech wants to do it straight through their website it also could be to help prevent counterfeiting because Microtech has had a huge issue with counterfeiting their knives. So that might be a way of them controlling. You know, you buy it through them, you know you're getting a genuine micro Microtech knife. So that might be another reason why they do it. Uh, other than that, absolutely beautiful knife for $325. I don't think you can go wrong for this kind of quality. I mean... The beautifully textured scales overall, the titanium and the way everything fits together with the carbon fiber is just seem, almost seamless. It really is. It just, 
you can't really feel any difference. And I know that this tucks in underneath. You'll have double row bearings or aramic bearings. I mean, very, very nice, very smooth. I think for $325, this knife's going to take a good beating. Plus, it's going to last you a long time, too. So, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this quick little review, final review. We will catch you next time. Hit that subscribe button because we always have more Tonto knives and EDC gear coming. Have a great day, guys. Bye.